I mean, video matters, matters like any other medium matters. I mean, it's, it's all about getting the proper message out. However, with video, you have much more of an ability to do so because you can tell the story of a particular place, a neighborhood, um, anything. I mean, that's why people go to the movies. They want to learn about stories, and you can teach stories through video. Um, I would say a couple things. Ironically, I would say transparency. Um, if you're not transparent, it's, it, people will see that, and they'll probably not enjoy watching. It'll look like an infomercial. You can't shoot an infomercial. Uh, it depends on the particular type of video. So if you're shooting a neighborhood tour, just show the neighborhood and show it, show it in a way that you would want other people to see it, but be transparent. Same thing with property tours. I mean, you know, um, show everything. Uh, don't try to disguise things, but at the same time, you do have the ability with video to really, you know, call attention to details that you ordinarily wouldn't be able to call attention to in a photo. For example, um, if you have a property that might have a little funkiness to it, you could theoretically say, hey, you know what, maybe you could do this with this property. So instead of having a person just look at the photo and say, eh, not for me, they can may potentially see the vision of what that backyard or basement or attic could look like. I think it's a mix of both. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I, I read blogs. I don't necessarily wake up in the morning and watch videos of people blogging. So I think there's, there's a balance to both. I think it depends on the medium and this, the, the, the message. Um, I think a good way to actually use video is to balance it, counterbalance it with a message. So you have um, a story to back it up on with text, but then also the video to deliver the, the more the compelling information, the visual side of it. So for example, like maybe you're doing a, a neighborhood tour and you're a writer for a newspaper. Why not shoot a video that's paired up with that written description script of the neighborhood? You're far more inclined to probably generate more interest in, the, in, the, in, your, in your piece. Oh, plenty. I mean, that's, that's definitely the, the next big thing. Once a mobile device can watch, like my iPhone, right? I mean, my iPhone's basically replacing the flip cam and the, I, don't, I no longer have to go out with 30 cameras, right? I have an iPhone. That's everything. As more and more mobile devices are empowered with the ability to watch content, you'll see that blow up. I mean, you already have, you know, one of the things we're doing with our company is we allow people to um, post a link up to a video, but now if you're watching it, if you get that link on your phone, you can click on it and it wa you can watch the video through your mobile device if it's video enabled. So we're all on the go nowadays, right? So why not? I don't, I'd rather not sit and watch that video in front of my uh, computer when I'm out actually at the property. Maybe I can click play and watch that house before even going into the property.